Welcome to our lecture online. There is a reason why we did the previous two videos because there we learned how to integrate 1 over the cosine of x. Now when we try to integrate this integral, the sine square of x over the cosine of x, you see that we're going to need what we've learned in the previous video. So here we have the integral and we see the numerator, we realize we can rewrite the, num the numerator as follows. This can be written as 1 minus the cosine square of x divided by the cosine of x times dx. And then if it's written like this, we can write it as two separate integrals. So this can be written as the integral of 1 over the cosine of x dx minus, because we have a minus sign, the cosine divide, squared divided by the cosine is equal to the cosine of x dx. Now the second integral, of course, is really easy to integrate. But what about the first integral? Well, simply go look at the previous video and you realize that the integral of this is equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x. And of course, we have a constant of integration. And then here, the integral of the cosine is indeed the sine, and so it would be minus the sine of x plus another constant of integration, which means when we combine those, we get the natural log of the secant of x plus the tangent of x minus the sine of x plus a constant of integration. So now that we know how to integrate 1 over the cosine of x, this integral is not so bad, and that's how it's done.